Stonehenge is one of the most famous sites in the world and serves as a constant reminder of the incredible resourcefulness of ancient civilizations. Let's take a look at how this incredibly heavy prehistoric monument was built before the invention of the wheel. The construction of Stonehenge was divided into three main parts. The first part, between around 3000 and 2500 BCE, involved the creation of an ordinary henge monument. The second stage saw the arrival of Welsh bluestones from the Preseli Mountains. In around 2150 BCE, men began transporting 82 of these four-tonne stones from Wiltshire using a series of rollers and sledges across the land. At the end of the 240 mile journey, the stones were arranged as a double circle in the centre of the Stonehenge site. The stones were thought to have magic healing powers and attracted visitors from all over Northern Europe. In around 2000 BCE, the third phase of construction began when sarsen stones were transported from a site 25 miles from the monument. These immense stones, the heaviest of which weighed 50 tonnes, were positioned upright in the circle. However, it seems that this isn't the whole story, as archaeologists have just discovered 100 more stone monoliths buried near to the Stonehenge site. Remote sensing and geophysical imaging technology were used to create an underground map of the ground without the need to dig it up. This revealed what is believed to be the largest Neolithic monument ever found in Britain. If you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.